Hey everybody, Snigbee here from Snigbee Gaming. Just uh, continuing a little uh, quest chain uh, here, uh, doing Book 7, Chapter 3. It's a little over level for me. You'll notice that it's uh, gold for me because it's level 47. I'm only level 45. I'm almost level 46 here. Oh, welcome. Thank you for, for that welcome here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, run this a little bit, see how far I can get. Um, it is leveling me up, so we'll go ahead and uh, work on that. So, all right. Will you lend me your aid once Hospital again? home. Find Bilbo. I can do that. I think that's part of the harvest mess, but we're going to go ahead and, and do this anyway. What's this? You were sent by the daughter of Golder and Elf Lyrian? What a strange fate. Give me the scroll. I'll un unravel the mystery. A strange fate. Lorne Elf's hope for not wholly in vain, for the scroll does indeed reveal a way to pass the gates of Karn Doom. The scroll tells of a special key needed forged of a dire black iron found only in the foul pits of Angmar, and the secrets of his crafting. I believe such a key could be made of mithril, for the strength of Moria Silver may overcome whatever resistance the lock may give. Unfortunately, we have not mithril to use. Perhaps you should seek it the aid of Dwarf Dwellin in the Thorns Hall in Ered Lund. Oh, so I gotta go all the way back over there. The dwarves know best the secrets of mithril, as they will speak. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Dark days are coming. Oh, this is uh, forward for something. But we'll go ahead and help them. Hope is not in vain. Okay, I see that. All right, guys, so I've got uh, several uh, quests to do here. Frodo, Pippin, and Sam help them with their, prep, their, their uh, preparations. Uh, then go over and talk to Dwar, um, Dwalin uh, back at Ered Lund. So long uh, trip over there. So let's go ahead and just help out the uh, little hobbits here, see if we can find them. Uh, let's see. Epic Volume 2 Prologue. Okay, I'm getting close to Volume 2. That's nice. Let's see if Frodo's in his, in Bilbo's room here. He is. And look there. I got Sam, and there's Pip. All right. We'll take a moment to be kind. Oh, small bit of flint. Bring the corn purse to Graffin. Too much packing to do, not enough time. Bad enough, we leave something at home. Do you think you ran to Forges of Rivendell to pick up a few items for me? I'll write up a list. Now, what am I missing? Okay. I'll go get the stuff for you, Sammy. Buddy. Pip, yeah. what can I do? I need to talk to Elrond, okay. Why do I need to do that? They took a nice stroll, seeing the sights, and borrowed a splitted walking stick. It was excellent. I wonder if you'd let me bring it with me on the journey. Probably not. I didn't want Mary even be coming along after all. But again, I'll put it in a good room for us. Okay, I'll go check. I'll see if he'll lend you his stick there, Pip. And Frodo. Mr. Frodo, sir. How may I be of assistance? Look at your notes at the Imladen Lookout. Okay. Write up some notes. Just north of Rivendell. Okay, I can run up there and get those for you. So I think what I'll do is I'll go talk to Master Elrond first and see he's right here. Do, 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 do. Master Elrond, sir. Master Elrond. May I borrow your stick? You say Peregrine borrowed his walking stick from the library? There's no such item. Surely he did not mistake the scepter of Enemus for a common walking stick. I trust you have all that question, but I still have reservations. They are young and do not understand the dangers ahead. They will remain with the company, but I'm displeased with the young hobbit. Should Pip should return the scepter. That need not be stated. Okay. Well, sorry about that, Pip. 
it's a, not a walking stick. It's a scepter that's very precious to the elves. Let me go down here and tell Pip, get the stick back to Elrond. He's not happy with you. See if he's got something else for me to do here. A lovely day, isn't it? Did you think, Elrond, uh, the scepter of Animanus? They shouldn't keep it in a place where people assume it's just for you to use. Well, I'll just bring it back to Elrond and say there's a little misunderstanding. And oh no, it's gone. Oh, I gotta find it. There were some large gray stones in the northern part of the valley we climbed to top west of the road and winds up to the mountains. Right next to those great big forges. Well, I'm glad I did this little quest before I went up there because both of those items, or all three of those items I have now, are basically in the general area. So we'll run up to the forges for Sam. And then from the forges, we'll make another little side trip. Let's see what Fimer has. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm getting sidetracked. We're doing an epic. That's what we're trying to focus on is epic quests. Oh, that's my challenge in Lord of the Rings. I always see all these little side quests. Whoops, made a, made a wrong turn. I do that a lot here in Rivendell. I'm actually going down here. And it's only courteous not to talk to these guys while you're riding on your horse. What can I do for you? Okay. Yes, I have all the items, but I cannot accept these coins. And I gift these items to him as a member of the company. Besides, I have little need of the monies of the mortal kind. I gave these items freely and would give any member of the company all that I could. Return to Master Gamgee and tell him that the items are here for his errand for Elrond. Okay. Well, thanks for that, uh, Graffin. Let me go find these uh, uh, some other stuff for the, my buddies up there. Pip is the one I'm most worried about because he had the staff of Animanus. And he shouldn't have... Oh, Rivendell is a beautiful little community, don't you think? The last homely home. Yep, got a turn. Keep on going up, 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 up. Hello. 
who do we have here? I've at later returned to Rivendell. Welcome, Snake Bee. You're a long way from home. You've come for these notes? I hope Frodo's not upset I've read him. He has weathered many adventures already. But I wonder how many roads still await him and the rest of his company. His uncle will need more pages than this to write them in their entirety. He has come now only from Hobbiton to Rivendell. How many more pages will it take before he sees his destination? We all have our parts to play, Snake Bee. Men such as Aragorn dwarves, even hobbits such as you and Frodo will have an impact on the great events of our age. Yes, even I have a role to play, though my time has not yet arrived. Return these notes to Frodo with my good wishes. All right, well, thank you, Arwen. I sure appreciate that. Oh, and uh, in the uh, movie, Arwen, thank you for saving Frodo from the uh, oh, raids. That was awful. Awful swell of you. She didn't do that in the book. Or did she? Yeah, I think maybe she did. No, it was, uh, it was a different character. Um, who did that in the books? It was a male elf. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to go back and read the books. It's been a while since I read the books. I'm kind of sad about that. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this uh, forward knocked out and see if we can... get on to where we're going all right let's look for a stick anybody see a walking stick around I guess I can start pressing delete and see if it comes up Careless hobbits. I hope they sure sure do hope they mature a little bit. walking stick. I know if I looked around long enough I would find it. So how do we get up there? Probably not that way. Let's step back and take a look. Or if I can parkour. I can. Looky there. take the northern loop around since we're up here so you'll probably notice that there's a uh, little gap in the recordings that I uh, have been doing uh, first off I apologize I had a uh, We'll just say a user error on the hard drive and I deleted some files that I didn't mean to delete. Um, I've also been pretty busy on a couple of uh, projects that have been taking up a lot of time. So I've, I've actually recorded some episodes and I never got them uploaded. So uh, like I said, if you see some missing content out there, I apologize. 
Um, it wasn't deliberate. I actually did want to uh, get all of the epic quest lines up, but um, as you can imagine, most of these quests are either like what I'm doing here, go pick up this, go pick up that, or run in here and chop up somebody and come back. So that's what I've been doing here in Angmar, uh, trying to level up as we go through. I guess the other thing I can do to get some XP is to actually do some crafting. That's always easy to do. So I'll have to look in that as well. Master Elrond, here's your walking step back. Thank you for returning it, no harm done. Oh, Penancy fall into trouble. All right. And now we run down. So we take care of Pip. Need to let Sam know that he's got his stuff. And give the uh, notes to... Do I give them to Frodo or do I give them to Bilbo? Looks like I give them to Frodo. All right, Master Samwise. Thank you very much. I wouldn't have said anyone. He wouldn't accept my payment? Well, that's queer. I always pay for your goods. Never want for them. Elves are strange folks. All right, still thank you. I'll let me in the next. Well, you're very welcome, sir. And Mr. Frodo. You found my notes? Thank you very much. Oh, do elves feel this way? Looking back over the long lives, how strange it must B. Does time pass more slowly for them or more quickly? What it must be like to remember so much. I know. Kind of interesting. I suppose we'll never be able to inter understand that, Sigby. We are simple hobbits, and that's what we may say. Thank you again for your help. I know that Bilbo will be glad to have these notes. All right. Let's go talk to Elrond. This takes care of the forward. Hope is not in vain. Uh, thank you for your helping. Gandalf says your people are unseen reserves of strength and are stout of heart. I hope it's true. Much depends on the success of the journey they all undertake. Dark days are coming. All right, talk to Elrond and see the company off. This is just a, a cutscene, so we're going to go ahead and watch them travel. The household of Elrond Half Elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of this land. I, Gandalf the Grey, must lead them along the dark. All right, so there's Legolas. Get to see the company. I showed you uh, Frodo and Bilbo. Old Bilbo's looking a little long in the tooth, but he's still a pretty robust uh, hobbit there. Um, Aragorn. Hey, Strider, what's up, buddy? Yeah. There's Pippa Mary and Mr. Old Gimli. Hey, Gimli. Oh, uh, and Bormer. Bormer, my buddy. Think about what you got to do, sir. And there's Sam and Bill the Pony. All right. So let's go talk to Frodo and get this thing kicked off here. Everything seems to be ready, Sneak Bee. We're about to leave. Hopefully, I'll see you again once it's all done. Talk to Aragorn, Sam, and Mary. I can do that. Look at all the help I've had. You're right, Frodo. You can't go wrong with a Took, a Brandy Buck, and a Gamgee. Solid hobbits all, says Bilbo.
Oops. I guess now I talked to Aragorn. Keep an eye on these lands while we are away, my friend. Our Aaron is a dangerous one, but there will be danger behind us too. And my footsteps will be easier if I know that Snigby remains behind to protect them against them. My own journey will carry me far from here. Well, thank you, sir. Andrew will go to Manus Tirith, but my rope falls out of the company for many leagues. Okie dokie. Sam? Good luck to you, buddy. Sam, why is your dunderhead? You've gone and forgotten to bring a bit of rope with you. I knew there was something you'd forgotten. Hello there, Snigby. Looks like this is it, and we're about to head out. Check in on my old gaffer from time to time, will you? Lord knows when we'll be done with this whole business. Bill here will have too much to carry in as it is, and I've lightened his load as much as I can. You're in for it now. Same as we are, Bill. Gotta look after each other, we do. That you do. Mary, good luck, buddy. Grow tall. <laughs> this is it, Snigby. Wish us luck. We're sure to come through okay. Less wise, we'll make it sure to lend Frodo all the help we can and do whatever Gandalf needs us to do. We'll see you when we get back. That's a promise. Well, thank you. Come on, Pip. It's almost time to go. Former. So begins a new journey. Let us go forth boldly. I say rather than skulking away from shadow to shadow and let the enemy quail at our coming. Blow your horn, buddy. Are we ready to leave at last? I will glad to put this thing behind us. Always do I win my horn at the setting forth. Let the enemy quake at its call. That was ill done, Bormer. The strength of the company's errand is in its secrecy. Why should we creep in darkness and in fear? We are not thieves. Yet we must leave like thieves or more a risk detection. Come here, Snigby. The number of the company has been chosen, Snigby, and any more would threaten the success of the mission. You have business remaining in Eridor, brave hobbit. Defend its people from the lengthening shadow. If the errand of this company fails, Eridor will have need of heroes for a final darkness. All right. You have done your part, Snigby. This burden is for others to bear. The company is setting out for the quest of Mount Doom. I ask no oath or bond of you, save Frodo alone. You go with him as free companions. Anyone who abandons Frodo will answer my axe. A fool vows to walk any road when he does not wear a wine gimli. Such a vow might lend the fool courage to strengthen his heart if strengthened it need be. Rely and sit upon each other and take what counsels you can. Go now with the blessings of all the free folk. Farewell. Bye, buddies. What is it, Pippin? He's hungry. I can't go any further. I want to help. Oh, I want to go with the bat with them. I tell you what, guys. I will follow on your trail and clean up after you. How's that sound? Oh, Elrond. Why couldn't it have been ten walkers? It is done. They are beyond my aid. For all my wisdom, I cannot see the end of the road. May they come in safety and return to Rivendell in victory. Right. And so the company departs. May the stars shine upon the road's end. And there they go. All right, let's go back inside. There's nothing more we can do from now. You've been a great help to us, Snigby. Let's go ahead and get those uh, health potions.
And I think that's going to be it for me. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here in uh, Rivendell. But uh, everybody, if you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up, like. I sure appreciate it. Consider subscribing. I'm going to go ahead and continue on uh, with the, uh, the content here. I do want to let you guys know that I'm considering uh, streaming. Uh, I'm working through that right now, figuring out how I'm going to do that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll stream all the content and then cut that stream recordings down to just the epic quest line for here. So again, we'll just continue on with what we're doing. It may mean a little less uh, content going up on YouTube, uh, maybe once a week, twice a week instead of every other day that I was trying to get out there. But uh, we'll uh, trying to balance life and a hobby is uh, and work. You know, we gotta gotta do what we gotta do. So anyway, uh, this is Snakey signing off. Everybody, have a great day. Bye.